Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to go from equation to a table on this particular Casio graphics calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. Right now, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at not just the table. We're also going to be looking at how to figure out f of x for this uh, particular equation for this function anyway. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, just switch on the calculator. We're going to go into menu and we're going to make our way towards table now when you get there it'll look very similar to what the graph function is also going to look like but in this case uh, we're going to get rid of these uh, formulas first so click on delete and click on f1 for yes we're going to go into y1 and we are going to put in this particular formula which is 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 so we've got 3 we're going to use the x which is under the alpha so that's 3x squared minus 2x we're going to use the x under the alpha again plus 4 we're going to click on enter so basically what's happened is right now it has y1 as this particular function here now you're going to have a couple of buttons that you need to keep in mind now the first button is the set button and the next one is the table now the default is if you click on table it's going to go directly to the table and it's going to go from 1 to 5 so as you can see, we've already got this basic table here. So we've got 1. Uh, so when x equals to 1, y is equal to 5. When x equals to 2, y is equal to 12. x equals to 3, y is equal to 25. Now, let's just say that you don't actually want to go between 1 to 5. Instead, you want to go from negative 5 to 5. What you can do is just click on exit, and you're going to come back to the main table function menu. For F5, it gets you something called set. So you click on F5, which is set, and that's going to tell you what your starting value for X is and your end value of X is, and also how much you want those values to increase by. So if you look at it, currently, it's set up as starting of 1, end of 5, and step of 1. So if you go back into table, so basically that means it's starting at 1, finishing at 5, and all of these numbers are going up by 1. So let's go back to set, and we're going to put this as minus 5. So we want to go from minus 5 to 5, but the step, we can make it maybe 0.5. So that means we should have our first value as minus 5, then minus 4.5, minus 4, and so on. So we've done that. We're going to click on table, and as you can see, it is going to give you your x values that's going from minus 5 all the way down to positive 5 and all of these numbers are actually increasing by 0.5. However, let's say we have this function here and we actually wanna find out if x is equal to 125, what is y going to be? Now, even though we've actually got this table set up here that's going from minus five to five, the cool thing about this particular calculator is that you should be able to just put in 125 anywhere you want and you should get the respective y value. So let's try that. We're going to put 125 instead of that 4 there. And as you can see, that is going to give you your y value. So when x equals 125, y is equal to 46,629. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, let's say if x is equal to, I don't know, minus 7.57. So we're going to go minus 7.57. And again, I've just put it in a random area there, and you can actually see what the y value is. Now, you might be wondering, hang on, can I actually go in and substitute my y value? Let's actually see what happens, because we know that y, when y was 5, x was equal to 1. So if I put y equals to 5, notice how it's actually not allowing me to input a value for the y. So in this case, the only thing you can actually substitute is just x. Um, you won't be able to go backwards. For that, you would actually need to use Equation Solver, which I have made a video earlier. All right, folks, and that pretty much covers how to go from equation to a table on this particular Casio Graphics Calculator.